Bethesda just announced a brand new Fallout game during their live stream on Twitch. We all watched it together during my live coverage of the event, and we learned that their new game is called Fallout Vault 76. What is Vault 76? There were plenty of clues that we saw in the trailer video itself, but let's delve into the other Fallout games to see if we can find any other lore. The first bit of lore we find about Vault 76 is in Fallout 3. To find this information, we head to the Citadel, and then open the door to the Citadel A-Ring. If we follow the cords on the ground, they lead us to a research room filled with terminals. The terminal on a small table against the southern wall is labeled vault Tech Terminal. Inside the terminal, we find an item called DC Area Vault Listings, and inside that, we find a section on Vault 76. Inside, we find three options. The first is Equipment Issuances. We learned that vault Tech started construction of Vault 76 in February of 2065. They ended construction only a few years later in October of 2069. The vault was designed to hold 500 vault dwellers. The total duration of their experiment in this vault was 240 months. That's 20 years. The computer control system is called Brain Power 4. I guess this means there's some sort of robo-brain controlling the vault. I'm sure nothing bad will come from that. Their primary power supply is the Light Life Geothermal System, and the secondary power supply is nuclear power by General Atomics. Non-standard equipment, none. That's strange for a vault Tech vault. They do horrible experiments on all of their vault dwellers. You'd think this one would be equipped with some sort of experimental equipment. Why was it not? Well, we learn why when we read the next item on personnel assignments. However, this section instead talks about Vault 76 goals. Vault 76 goal summary. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to the plan dictated in the marketing material provided by vault Tech and precisely to resident expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years, and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. So as a control vault, vault Tech was not performing any experiments on their vault residence. This was a normal vault, one of only 17. Strangely enough, in the next one, Project Goals, we see that access is restricted. And that's all the information we get from this terminal. However, we get one more snippet of information about Vault 76 during the Mothership Zeta DLC. While exploring the Mothership, we find an alien captive recorded log number 13. Hey now, no reason to get yourselves worked up. Whatever you need, I'm going to tell it to you. Well, I'm pretty sure you want me to talk into this thing, so here goes. My name is Giles Walstoncroft. I'm the current Assistant Chief Executive Officer of the Vault Tech Corporation. I was inspecting the construction site of Vault 76 when I was captured what I can only assume are alien beings from another world. I'm not sure what they want from me or what they will do to me. Whatever they need, I will readily provide. Perhaps I can bridge our communication gap and establish a rapport with them. We can enter into an exclusive trade agreement. In fact, instead of talking to this damn machine, I'm going to attempt to address them directly. On behalf of the vault Tech Corporation, I'd like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you. Wait. You don't need that. Wait. And the final reference we get to Vault 76 is in Fallout 4. At the very beginning of the game, while we're walking around our home getting to know Codsworth, talking to the Vault Tech sales rep, the news anchor on the TV says this about Vault 76. Okay. Turn to economic news of the day. Vault Tech stock continues to rise as tensions with China reach an all time high. With the world poised on the brink of war, vault Tech is reporting a record number of reservations in vaults around the country. vault Tech announced a continuation of their popular Welcome Home promotion. They report openings are still available in Area Vaults 81. You know he's not going to give up. Since debuting Vault 76 last year, in honor of America's tercentenary, vault Tech continues to expand with plans for well over 100 vaults around the country. 
So that's all we know about the vault from the lore of the game. What can we divine from this trailer? Well, the first thing that's really interesting is that this Pip-Boy looks old. It looks clunky. We see Nixie lights in there. It looks beautifully old. The date on this Pip-Boy is 6.34 in the morning on October 27th, 2102. There's a birthday hat on a nearby table, a backpack, and a traveler's hat on the bed. We see a televised broadcast promoting the opening of Vault 76 on a TV, an invitation to some sort of big party on a terminal, and when we look out a window into the vault atrium, we see that a huge party has been thrown. Streamers, banners, balloons, confetti! And on a poster at the far end of the vault, we see the words, Celebrate! Reclamation Day. A man in a vault suit straps on his beautiful Gen 1 Pip-Boy, and on the back of his suit it says, Vault 76. What does all of this mean? Well, we learned on the terminal in the Citadel that vault -Tec had planned to automatically open the doors to Vault 76 20 years after the nuclear apocalypse. Well, 20 years after 2077 is 2097. But, in the trailer, on the Pip-Boy, we see the date 2102. That's 25 years, not 20 years. What went wrong? Why did the doors not open 20 years after the nuclear apocalypse? Why did they wait another five years? Who made that decision? Was it the Overseer or perhaps Brain Power 4? The celebration we see going on in the atrium is a response to the vault doors opening. The banner says Reclamation Day. What are these vault dwellers reclaiming? They're reclaiming America. Vault 76 is proud of America. We see a poster in the bedroom that says 1776 to 2076. Vault Tech salutes America. Vault 76, the official vault of the Tricentennial. This is the tricentennial we saw mentioned in Fallout 4, the very tricentennial we saw being celebrated on the television inside the vault. This must have been an incredibly important day for the dwellers in Vault 76. They are the center of attention. The world is looking upon them. They are really important. The time has come. The doors have opened. We are reclaiming America. Also, the song they play on the radio in the trailer is... Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, Take Me Home. Does this mean that Vault 76 is set in West Virginia? Well, we're told that it's a DC area vault in Fallout 3. It is listed among all of the other vaults that are close to Washington, DC. Well, how could this be? Well, it makes much more sense if we look at a map of the continental United States. West Virginia borders Kentucky to the southwest, borders Pennsylvania to the north, wherein we find the city of Pittsburgh, the setting for the Pitt DLC of Fallout 3, and borders Maryland to the east, just in sight of Washington, D.C. Vault 76, therefore, could be in West Virginia, as the song hints, and at the same time be considered a D.C. area vault. Now, there are many implications regarding the date. If this date is accurate, and these vault dwellers are leaving Vault 76 on October 27th, 2102, that is 59 years before the events of Fallout 1. This makes Vault 76 a prequel to the entire Fallout series. We will be stepping out into the wasteland only 25 years after the bombs dropped. 35 years before the Master began to mass-produce supermutants. 22 years before Randall Clark dies while staring at the stars of Zion Canyon. Eight years before the Institute is even formed in the Commonwealth. And one year before the Master was successful with his experiments creating supermutants. But what else happened in Fallout lore in the year 2102? Well, coincidentally or not, 2102 was the year that Richard Gray discovered the Mariposa military base. It was the very year he and his party discovered the FEV virus, and the very year that he was accidentally turned into the Master. It was the very year when the Master first started to consume and experiment with FEV on humans. 
So that is everything we know about Vault 76 from canonical Fallout lore. But of course, we're about to get a whole bunch more of information about Vault 76 as the release date of the game approaches. I'm sure we're going to hear quite a lot at E3 this year. So what are your thoughts on Vault 76? I just want to take the opportunity to say that I am absolutely stoked that this big announcement was not just a remaster of a game or a port of a game, but that it's a brand new game. I'm so excited, and it's something none of us predicted. Well, I, I can't claim that for everybody, I, at least, never predicted that we would be having a game called Vault 76 set in West Virginia. This is amazing. I'm stoked, and I hope you are too. If you can connect any more dots, if you have any more speculation, let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading your comments carefully. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more Fallout videos. I publish many Fallout videos every single week. And if you're interested in some unique designs that you can't find anywhere else, you can check out my shirt shop. I have shirts in a variety of both men's and women's sizes and in a wide array of colors. My products come on things other than shirts, including mugs, posters, prints, smartphone cases, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon this week with another video.